Welcome back. Now, transition finance means any form of financial support that helps high carbon companies start to implement long term changes to become greener. It bridges the gap between traditional and sustainable financing as businesses begin the journey to net zero. Joining us virtually to discuss Namibia's stand on the initiative and its importance is the Managing Director at 91 Africa XSA, Mr. Aino Mbula. Good morning, sir, and welcome to Good Morning Namibia. Good morning, Tembo, and good morning to all our viewers. Now, sir, what would you say is the importance of having talks or discussions around climate transition financing? Tembo, I think um, I like the way you started the interview by actually explaining to our, uh, to our viewers what transition finance is. I think it's very important that we understand that first uh, to appreciate uh, what we're talking about when we're talking about transition financing. And the importance thereof, uh, to me, is the fact that uh, as we transition to green economy, it's very important that you appreciate that there are existing enterprises and existing economies that we need to actually take along and ensure that no one is uh, left behind in the, to, go, to get to the mantra of our president. Uh, and in this context, transition finance really, for me, uh, it, is, it, it helps. The importance thereof is to ensure uh, that, particularly on the social front, we don't uh, disenfranchised communities and, 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 and enterprises that for some time have benefited or uh, have benefited from the existing technologies, the existing uh, inter enterprises and so forth. So therefore the importance is to ensure that in the process of getting to green uh, economy, we are transitioning in a just and fair manner. Now, sir, despite its very clear importance, transition finance is a relatively new concept. How can Namibia go about to better promote and ensure its credibility? I think one aspect of Denvo for me is, is just these platforms like this one that we're having now uh, that ensure first and foremost that people understand what transition finance is, that they understand what just uh, transition is, and also that uh, they, they then get to appreciate the activities that are required to get us to a, a greener economy, but in a just and transparent manner. I, I think that for me is very, very important. And in this context, I think uh, it is critical uh, that we begin to have the conversations, uh, not only for the sake of it, but with a clear view to ensure that we are able, to, first and foremost, to make uh, products available that finance uh, transition and ensure that uh, institutions that are uh, credited with the ability to finance uh, such institutions do understand and come along to actually ensure that uh, communities are not disenfranchised in the process of getting to the green economy. Now, sir, what is already in the public domain is that at least one financial institution has made a green bond available. But as far as the rest of the country is concerned, what does the picture look like in terms of climate finance facilities? Yeah. I think area on you said is a fairly co a new concept to Namibia, and I think um, every I mean we, it's a journey that the uh, Namibian uh, financial ecosystem need to need to to embark on. And you're right, there is one institution, but I think there are a few other institutions that are coming along. And very important, uh, Denver, I think to note is that uh, a lot of time. Uh, particularly when we're talking about uh, the green economy, it's a fairly new concept, and there is a lot of risks still that in, that need to be um, that need to to be managed. And in that process, I think it's very I'm very pleased. I mean, being uh, at the COP27, uh, you would have noticed that yesterday Namibia announced a very good concession of funding uh, to the tune, I think, of, of north of 10, 10 billion Namibian dollars. Sure. That kind of funding would actually help the economy to. To, I mean, to, to help the, 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 the economy to, to de-risk some of the projects and therefore allow the capital uh, that is a bit uh, risk averse to come along. So the, 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 it, it is a journey that requires, first and foremost, the, the unlocking of good potential by letting uh, risky capital come and unlock. Uh, the, 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 the opportunities and hence this concept that you hear about now and then of blended finance. And that is really about to ensure that uh, firstly, we've got bankable projects and then those bankable projects are de-risked to enable the patient 
and a bit more risk averse capital uh, to take to take I mean to come along, particularly when it comes to our pension fund industries and the like, where as you know very well, Namibia has got a very big pool of uh, say, I mean big capital pool, uh, but un- unfortunately a lot of it is is is, is risk averse. So. We are on a journey. We will de-risk uh, a lot of projects, and after the de-risking, I think you will see a lot of that capital moving uh, into into the space. So let's perhaps, at this juncture, take it one slight step back. In your opinion, to what extent are Namibians in general, but also Namibian organisations in particular, aware of their role in the environment and their role as far as mitigating the, the devastation of climate change is concerned? I think I like your last point about devastating, uh, the devastating impact of climate change. I think, unfortunately, Denver, as you might know, some of these stats is that uh, Africa in general contributes only about 4% to uh, green, uh, green gas emission. Uh, and Namibia in that equation is almost uh, very, very negligible. But unfortunately for Namibians and Namibian uh, institutions, we are at the blunt end of the of climate change. Uh, Namibia is very uh, uh, prone to drought, is very prone to a lot of uh, severe climate impact. And therefore, we, we should be, if we aren't already, we should be very aware of the impact of climate change. And more importantly, then we should take active role to ensure that uh, the, the, the negative impact we have thus far experienced can at least be reduced, and hence people are talking about the journey to net zero. And I think uh, in, in, in that context, Namibians really need to rally behind uh, the, our leaders that are, that are, that are, that are channeling the, the road for us to say, look, there is potentially in this context, um, Namibia has got a potential to help the world to actually manage the impact of uh, climate change by embarking entirely upon a new industry, which mm. is uh, by and large the, the green hydrogen industry that we're talking about. And there will be a lot of peripheral um, activity, peripheral industry that will spin out of, out of the, the green hydrogen uh, industry, the very new industry that I think we should all be excited about and we should rally behind uh, the Green Hydrogen Council and the government in this, uh, in this in, in impact. And look at the opportunities that will come along uh, that will really help uh, perhaps also with a lot of our social uh, issues that are particularly around unemployment, more so within the, uh, the youth um, of, of our country. Very well, sir. Now, we do know that transition financing is on the agenda in Egypt at COP27 at the moment. But to what extent will these discussions help us accomplish our goals? I think, Denver, for me, the, the overall, when you just for one minute step back and say, look, transition finance and, and climate financing in general, it's really about uh, recognizing that this is, it's not about a single country, but it's about uh, the whole uh, uh, population basically on Earth. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a risk that if we don't manage, we'll all perish together. And therefore, what we recognize recognizing is that first and foremost, we need to green the economy globally. That's, that's I think, the first point. The second point is that we need to recognize that we need to do it in a just and fair manner to ensure that in the process, we actually don't shoot ourselves in the foot, so to speak. Mm. That, what do I mean by that? Is that, is that we, re, we must recognize that a lot of the technologies that are geared towards um, getting us to the green economy, globally speaking, are at, by and large still in design phase. There is, there will still be a need for some um, uh, fossil fuel until we get to a point where we are all uh, in a green economy. And therefore, it's very important we, we, we keep talking about just transition. And for us, what that means is really to recognize that in some countries, particularly in the emerging market, uh, you would find that there are a lot of communities that rely historically on fossil fuel industries. Thank and therefore, you. they need to be taken along. Thank and, you, sir. And, and for us, I think what it... Thank you. Any final thoughts before we let you go? Um, Denver, I think for us, for me, the final thought is to say, look, Namibians, as Namibians, we should embrace um, the fact that the world is getting warmer and warmer and we need to take action. And in the case of Namibia, the actions that we need to be taking uh, is not so much about managing, I mean, 
I wouldn't. Uh, it's it's more importantly to actually ensure that there is a, an opportunity within the context of getting our economy to a green economy. And in that process, the world actually requires and need what we have, which is abundant sun, wind, and water that we can use to actually make the molecules that would transport energy to where it's required. And also within Southern Africa, very, very important for me. Uh, and I think those will be my last uh, comment to really say, let's embrace these opportunities and let's rally along uh, the, the leaders that are helping us to get to a green economy. So thank you very much for your time. May the continued deliberations in Egypt be fruitful. Thank you very much and see you soon. That was Mr. Aino Mbula, Managing Director at 91 Africa XSA, talking to us about transition financing towards a green economy that's also on the agenda at COP27 underway in Egypt at the moment.